Okay, what we're going to look at next is using image files as the colour rather than just a flat colour, which is the sort of texturing that you see um, in most games and films, etc. So these are the textures that look really high-end and much better. Before you can do that, though, you'll actually need to download the texture files that we'll be using for this exercise. So the link can be found underneath the video, and you need to make sure that you download each of the images and that you put them in the source images folder of your project because that's where Maya expects your textures to be. So I've already downloaded them. So you can see here, there they are. So that's all the images there. And what I need to do is just copy them into the source images folder of my project. There we go. So now Maya will know where to look for these. Okay. So we're going to create a new material for the crates. Now it's a wooden crate and wood generally doesn't reflect. So we're going to create a, a Lambert for this. Before I do that, I'm obviously going to clear my work area. I'm going to create a new Lambert and it's going to be called Crate M. Oh, crate M. Lovely. And again, for the color, instead of just choosing a color, I'm going to connect a new render node. And this time, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I'm going to choose File. Awesome. And then it'll take you through to the properties for the file. You don't really need to change anything, but the one thing that you must change is the image name. And that is where you tell it which image you're going to use. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see that it takes me straight into my Source Images folder, because that's where Maya expects your texture files to be. And the one we're going to use is called Create Diffuse. Uh, and Diffuse Maps are what the um, the pros call the colour texture maps, really. So it's Create Diffuse. And then you can see on your shader ball, you've got a preview of how that would look if it was applied to a shape that wasn't really suitable for it. But you now have got a Create Material. So again, as we've done in previous steps, you can assign this Create Material to each of the crates like so and at that stage things will start to look much much sexier which is of course all we want so one two three nice 